Hey Faith World, thank you so much for tuning in to The Voice of Faith. As you hear this message, we want to build up your faith and build up your hope in the Word of God. Check out this message from Marquise. Good evening, everyone. This is Marquise Kidd coming to you on The Voice of Faith. As I always say, it's always a privilege um, to be before you just for these brief moments, just to share a word of encouragement that the Lord has placed upon my heart. Very briefly tonight, I just want to talk to you um, about the subject, fret not, fret not. Uh, we live in a world where uh, the words fear, anxiety, tension have all become commonplace. Uh, from the unrest that is brewing in our foreign countries to the visible inflation of priced goods to even rumors of yet another variant of this demonic virus. It's become crystal clear that the enemy knows that his time is running out and he's working overtime uh, to try to influence our surroundings with the hope of kidnapping our focus and ultimately draining our faith. Perhaps you've been tempted uh, to give ear to the looming threat of famine and breakdown. Perhaps you've wondered what would happen if the cost of living continues to rise. Maybe you've pondered what will become of our nation if the wicked continue to boast and push their demonic propaganda. Well, I have an answer for you. It's not a suggestion. It's not an opinion, but it is the word of God. It's first Peter three and 15 that tells us as believers to be ready to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is within you. The world is looking for answers. Yes, the world is looking for answers. And as ambassadors, we have the answer, not just an answer, but we have the answer. And that answer is Jesus Christ. I believe that we've been given a choice concerning all that is happening in this world. We can either focus on fear or we can focus on the faithfulness of God. I'm going to read a few of uh, uh, passages of scripture uh, from Psalm 37, but the first two words in this chapter, Psalm 37 and one, it gives us a huge clue of what not to do during these times. It says, fret not. Yes, you heard it right. Fret not. In other words, don't fear. What does it mean to fret? Well, um, fret is described to be as to be constantly or visibly worried or anxious. It also means to gradually wear something away by rubbing or gnawing, just like the way the ocean um, uh, erodes the, the land's coast, if you will. If you live in Southern California or anywhere where there's a coastal area, the water from the ocean over a period of time just erodes that uh, body of land. Both of these definitions really highlight what happens when your focus is misdirected. And so the question is, why shouldn't we fret about everything that is going on around us? Well, Psalm 37, 1 and 2 in the New King James Version says, Do not fret because of evildoers, nor be envious of the workers of iniquity, for they soon shall be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. I like it how the message translation puts it. Don't bother your head with braggarts or wish you could succeed like the wicked. In no time, they'll shrivel up like the grass clippings and will wilt like cut flowers in the sun. I don't know about you, but these two verses really excite me because it lets us know that the wickedness that's around us is in for a rude awakening. God is getting ready to pull the carpet from beneath them. He's getting ready to pull the plug on the wicked's operation. And guess what? It's not going to take a long time. Notice in verse two, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass. I'm going to say it again. They shall soon be cut down like the grass. Now I live in a house and I have a front, uh, front lawn. And so I 
mow my own lawn. Um, and it's not a struggle for me to mow my lawn. Think about it. What kind of resistance can grass put up with two large blades powered by a motor? I mean, that grass doesn't stand a chance. And in the same way, our God, your God, will be an enemy to your enemies. He will be an adversary to your adversaries. He will be a stumbling block to all who oppose us. So child of God, my brother, my sister, make up in your mind today that I'm not going to fret about evil because God is my protection. I'm not going to fret about provision because God is my provider. In fact, Psalm 37 and 1 tells us in the Passion Translation, don't follow after the wicked nor be jealous of their wealth. Why would that be put in there? Why shouldn't we be jealous of the wicked's wealth? Well, Proverbs 13 and 22 tells us that the wealth of the sinner will find its way to the hands of the righteous for whom it was laid up for or whom it was reserved for. Don't you know that the wealth of the wicked has been reserved for the righteous? So you don't have to worry about provision. Listen, the word of the Lord to you today is don't fret. God's got everything under control. God bless you. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode of The Voice of Faith. We believe that God is going to do some amazing things in your life. And before you go, we always want to give you an opportunity to give so that you can be blessed. The different ways that you can give are on the screen. Also, if you need prayer, we would love to pray with you. Just email, message, or call the church. Thank you so much for watching today and have a blessed week.